All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, what 50 hours of Minecraft Hardcore looks like. Uh, so let's have a look at the statistics just so I can prove it. We go down here. Time since last death, 2.34 days. If you want to do the math on that, it's about 55 hours. So we're just over 50, 50 hours. So um, yeah, so this is basically where we started. I wanted to build uh, near a village. So um, I basically put all my stuff here, started getting like diamonds and that, because that's kind of what you want to do early in a hardcore world. Uh, so yeah, this is where I started. I hit all my stuff here. I uh, had a bed and that. Uh, started farming things like uh, sugarcane so I could uh, make libraries and do enchantments. So that's why there's heaps of sugarcane around here. Uh, I haven't harvested it in a while. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. We got our mine. Where is our mine? I haven't used this mine in a while. But this is where our mine was, down there. Uh, we actually got pretty good uh, diamond spawns, to be honest. We got like a stack of diamonds in like the first day, which was good. Um, there's our wheat farm, haven't harvested that in a while. Yeah, that's where the sugar cane goes. Uh, I planted these trees around here because uh, I, I do like farming wood to uh, trade with the Fletchers and uh, yeah, get a lot of emeralds, which we will see in a moment. So yeah, I wanted to build near a village because I wanted to uh, breed up villagers. Um, and I put the wall up to keep them safe from pillagers and, and uh, you know, skeletons and that. I don't think any villagers actually live on the surface anymore. I think they either died or I captured them and <laughs> put them downstairs, which you guys will see soon. Uh, I'll just quickly show you guys the rest of the outside of the base. I haven't done a lot outside. It's pretty basic sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's not very like, it doesn't look nice or anything. I just, I pretty much just put up this wall up straight away so the villagers wouldn't die. I really didn't want to have to change uh, location because my villagers died, so I tried to keep them safe. Uh, so here we can see uh, these are a few sugarcane farms that I've made. Um, I had to break one of them, so that one doesn't work, but we have sugarcane farms here. Um, they're not very efficient, they don't work very quickly, but I don't know, it's just fun making farms, I feel. I feel like I can make a better one, yeah, if I had to do it again. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know how they work, but basically, once a sugar cane, this sugar cane here, oh, I'm sorry, once a sugar cane here grows up to this level, it sets off the redstone, uh, and it pushes them all into the water, then into the chest. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, here's the top of my base. We'll go inside in a minute. Uh, I will cover this with dirt eventually so you can't see it from the surface. But um, yeah, I just did this recently, so that's all quartz. So, you know, it's a fair bit of grinding glowstone there as well. So we'll head into the base. Um, yeah, I've always, always wanted to have like a map where I just... It's based around like trading with, uh, you know, the villagers. I feel like if you build near away from a village, it can be a kind of annoying. Uh, so I decided to build uh, close to a village. Sorry guys, I just realized there was no uh, game audio, so I just turned that on. This is my base. Uh, this is where I started. I basically just had a very small room here um, with beds, and I started breeding the uh, I started breeding the villagers, which you can do with just uh, placing down extra beds and giving the villagers bread. Um, so this was just a, the starter room. We had a bunch of villagers in here. They bred up. That's why we've got rooms here with beds. Uh, then I extended out. Uh, we got more bedrooms in here, uh, a bunch of storage obviously, uh, we got the enchantment room, which is nice, I, I like this, glowstone full of books, uh, obviously you don't need this many books, but I just did it because it looks cool, then in here we've got uh, a bunch of workers as well, like the, you know, smith, smith, smithing table, whatever it's called, uh, you know, fletching, stuff like that, um, so yeah, I've got like a whole underground base here basically. Down here, I haven't really finished this room, but this is full of all the enchantments. You can see on here, it's labeled what the main enchantment trade is, you know, protection three. So this has been really handy. Um, I've got mending from these, which is obviously insane. Mending's very good for, which I've got on all my stuff. You can see here, my um, armor's decent. Um, we'll go through more of my items in a moment. Um, but yeah, it's all got mending. It's all pretty good. I haven't made it netherite yet because I don't I don't want to make it netherite until I have uh, max out enchant enchantments and then I'll make it nether. Alright, so this is another little room I made. Um, it's kind of just like, you know, the overworld blending into the nether. Got lava here coming from water. 
I think this room's pretty cool. Um, this took a this took a while actually because I think we mined most of this out with an iron pick, <laughs> which was a uh, pretty scuffed. Um, yeah, but yeah, this room's quite nice. I like this. Uh, let me move into this is one I've just recently finished. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work fun functionally. I wanted the villagers to move into here a little bit, like a few of them, and sleep in the beds, but I think the um. I think the beds are outside the radius of the village. I think there's like a village radius on the surface And if you move out that radius, they don't really they do come in here sometimes But they don't sleep in the beds and that but I'm not entirely sure we'll, we'll have to look into that Maybe if I because I do know they they all meet at the bell. So maybe if I move the bell uh, Into here, maybe they may move in. I, I don't know um yeah, so then we've obviously got the nether portal. I haven't built anything in the nether that's interesting, so I won't even go in there. Um, so some things I would like to go over. We've, uh, as you can see here, we've got the, Ele the Electra. So I have beaten the Ender Dragon, which we did sort of recently. We took a while to find the Nether Fortress, so that's the reason we haven't hadn't completed the... Uh, did the dragon for a while. Um, but let's have a look at some of our stuff. Um, we spent a long time getting this trident. The enchantments aren't on it that aren't that good. Um, but you can see we got a lot of stuff here. Um, look at this, like Smite 5. Ooh, a bunch of enchantments, heaps of stuff, heaps of books, multi-shot. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here, really. Um, then in here, this is this took me a while. I, I was I'm still grinding this, but I'm st my plan is to fill up a whole chest with uh, emeralds, which I mainly do through either paper trades with um, the librarians or. Uh, stick trades with the Fletchers, so yeah, stick trading is not too hard. It's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I got a bunch of other stuff. Obviously, a bunch of diamonds, a stack and a half. Look, we got our Netherite ignits here. So we've pretty much completed a lot of end game stuff. We obviously, obviously haven't added that to our army yet. Um, you can see we're high enchantment level of 50. Um, but yeah, this is basically the base here, guys. Um, I don't know if this is good progression in 50 hours. I feel like. The first like 10 hours I devoted basically to the, the villagers, um, the whole setup of the villagers was quite a grind. I apparently mined this whole place out with an iron pick, um, which was probably dumb really in my part, but um, you know, it's a hardcore dude. If you don't, if you just spend a lot of time creating, your hardcore can last a long time. Um, this is officially our longest hardcore, our longest before this was like 20 hours, oh, 30 hours I think, and we're at 55 now, so... Um, yeah, I really like having like villagers chilling around the place. I think that makes the base look cooler. I just really hope I can uh, get them ex to extend out into the to, into the desert biome. I think that'll be cool. I don't know what's next for this base, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's 50 hours of um of the hardcore guys. Not bad. Thanks for watching.